Hey everyone, it's Karen here reporting from Redondo Beach, not so sunny California. It's become overcast and we, uh, this is my good friend Her Harry here, and we had to cut our short trip today. We had to cut it short today. It got really overcast and kind of dark and gray, and so we cut it short. But and we're very cold. And we had a drink because it's so cold. Yes. We had to warm up. Yes, we had to. And so today I wanted to talk about photo shoots and um, some tips I have for you if uh, you're doing your first photo shoot or if you've done some before, maybe these are some tips that you can incorporate next time. So one is always to have your hair and makeup done. Yes, it makes it a lot easier. It's just better to be prepared. Yeah, no matter if you do it yourself, because I do my own makeup all the time, or you can hire someone just to take the stress off yourself for the rest of the day. Um, it's always good to have um, darker makeup, I think, for your eyes and your lips, just so it pops out in the pictures more. Second is, um, I always recommend a spray tan because it, define, it defines your muscle tone a bit more, it makes you look more toned, and overall just presents a better color for the pictures as well. Better color, usually more even, uh, and so it just helps. Uh, you definitely want a little color in your pictures. Yeah, I remember to rinse off before you come to the shoot because if you get wet at the beach, it's going to run all over your bikinis and your clothes and everything, so it's not, um, yeah, you definitely want to rinse off. Yep, so tan the day before so that you can rinse off the day of the shoot yep. before you go. Yep, and the third is practice, practice, practice. Now, some of us might not be comfortable in front of the camera, and you always want to practice in front of the mirror because sometimes what you feel is over-exaggerated is just simply a nice pose on camera. So you got to explore your own comfort zone and practice on the camera, your facial expressions, your body expressions, and see what works for you and what doesn't. And you want to emphasize your good points and de-emphasize your bad points. And keep in mind, when you're practicing in front of the mirror, you're not necessarily at the same angle that the photographer is going to be at. You might even want to set up a video camera and videotape yourself just kind of practicing going through the, mo the, the motions and the poses. Right. And set the video camera a little bit lower than, you don't want it at level, you want it to be a little bit lower coming from like the hip uh, or the waist coming up. Because in general, the photographer is going to shoot uh, from a lower level, especially for those that are vertically challenged. They want to, to look as long as possible and tall as possible. So they're going to come down and shoot up. And that's where you want the viewpoint to be so that you know what you look like from a photographer's standpoint. Exactly. So those are three key points that we have. Everything else, bikinis, accessories, they're all secondary because, you know, it's you that's on camera and it's not bikinis that's on display. And uh, Harry, did you have any other tips or pointers that you have for aspiring models out there? Best thing that I can tell you guys is just relax. Even if it's your first time, try and enjoy the moment. Don't overanalyze, don't worry about it. The photographer is going to give you direction. Just kind of pay attention to the direction. If they're telling you to really go into a pose and you think that it's, it's kind of awkward, don't worry about it. They're going to try and get you in the best pose possible. You should be able to go back through and, and look through the pictures and, and see if you like them. But sometimes you feel awkward, but it's the best pose for the camera. For sure. I definitely agree. And if you didn't catch my blog last week, um, some of the products I recommend is Shredded, which is a natural diuretic by Sand. So I use this, like, used Shredded for three days before my shoot today just to tighten up and everything. So and it works amazing because she looked awesome. Thank you. So that's it for this week. And uh, yeah. Thanks, Harry, for being my blog this week as Thank well. Thank you, Karen. Harry, LHGFX, LHGFX Photography, with the one and only Karen Payne. <laughs> You're one and only sand girl. Not one and only, there's a few others, but... Anyways, we'll talk to you soon, and uh, yeah, take care. Good luck in your first shoot. See ya. Bye.